Living in the age of technology has implications for everyone entering the business world. The technology that we have today in our personal computers, our Macs and servers, makes it possible for us to collect large amounts of data. And we're collecting data from a number of sources, things like YouTube, social media, our point of sale systems, healthcare claims, and the like. More and more data is being fed into systems and being collected into systems, and the analysis of those data sets are extremely important in order for us to gain valuable insights. The amount of data that's increasing on a daily basis is enormous. In fact, some of the largest data centers now that store and house various elements of video data, text data, audio data uh, by the federal government, by state governments, by large corporations such as Google, IBM, and Microsoft deal in the petabyte and exabyte levels. So can think about where we have the computers that have gigabytes and some will have even a terabyte, well, the next thousand terabytes would be a petabyte and the next thousand petabytes would be an exabyte. And there's even talk that the federal government will have a data center in the size of a yottabyte, which is beyond an exabyte. So this is all what we call business analytics and data analytics. And there's a lot of confusion around these terms because people will call themselves business analysts and is that really someone who does analytics? The answer is, is if you're working with data in some capacity, then you are somewhat of a business analytics person. Some people will just use Excel. Some people will use more advanced systems such as R, SPSS, SAS, to name a few. The whole purpose of this class will be to focus on looking at business analytics in a, num in a variety of ways and then learning various techniques that will allow us to use uh, the data for valuable insights. We won't be using very large data sets in the order of gigabytes or 20 million records or 50 million records, but the concepts will still remain the same. And we'll be able to use uh, the models with some small data sets to see how they actually work. So we use quantitative methods to uncover information in the data sets that will allow us to take some action. All of the data, when aggregated together, will provide some sort of insight that will enable us to redirect our resources or focus on customers or look for operational efficiency, all in the effort of gaining a competitive advantage or meeting regulatory requirements or finding out where issues in our organization are. And that's what we're going to be focusing on uh, in the course of this chapter and course of this book.